first. I'm just curious what you were seeing with 29 seconds left in the game when the shot clock was at seven that sort of made you call what was the team's final timeout. Yeah, I just didn't think we had anything going there for us at that time. So I thought it was best for me to call a timeout So and, 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 and write up a play. For sure. And uh, Sabrina, for you, uh, Sandy spoke to us pregame about how the team had to earn it and play Liberty basketball in order to win. I I'm just curious what was behind you all maybe not playing Liberty basketball this afternoon and why you couldn't earn this win. No, we play Liberty basketball, um, you know, but understanding like this, uh, this is their Super Bowl game. I mean, you know, we've beaten them three times this year already. Um, we knew they were going to come into this game really hungry and it's tough to beat a team four times. Like it, it's just tough in our league, especially with how every team has just grown. And especially this young team, um, you've been able to just see how much they've grown um, just throughout the first half of the season. So, um, you know, I don't think it was necessarily us not playing our style of basketball is just understanding that we had to come in with a sense of urgency, knowing it's not going to be as easy as it was in the first um, couple games that we were able to go up against them because they've just grown. Miles. Hi, all. In the fourth quarter, you got just three shots inside the paint. And on the night, you tied a season high with 42 three-point attempts, despite shooting 66% inside the paint. What was Indiana doing to kind of affect your shot profile in that way? Is that for me? Or... And it's for, for anybody who wants to answer that one. Yeah, look, I think, like I said, I said they're, defensively, they're a much better team than when we faced them the first three times. Uh, they were giving us open threes, obviously, with the, the penetration. We're trying to get the ball on the block and, and be made some, uh, you know, good passes out. Um, you know, we probably settled a little bit too much, but it was the shot that was open. Um, but, you know, their congestion, they're always scrambling and, and, and making it hard for us to score on the paint. So, yeah, I mean, 42 is a lot when we're not making any, but we've got very capable shooters. And it was one of those days the ball wasn't going in the hole. We'll go to Jeff. Thank you, Coach. My question is for you. Uh, first of all, sorry it didn't go your guys' way today. Um, this team falls to now two and four, including the Commissioner's Cup, when John Cole Jones is held under 10 points. Today she was held to six. So what do you think was the key to uh, holding John Quill, and what do, you, what do you want to do to get her into a better rhythm come the next game, the important game against Connecticut come Wednesday morning? Yeah, look, JJ will be ready. You know, it's how important for us uh, that she is to us. Yeah, we didn't get her established as much. We tried to put them in the post a fair bit. Um, yeah, they were very active even when she was on the perimeter. She was, you know, probably a little hesitant enough. She missed a few uh, a few shots there, and um, we don't want her. We want her to be very decisive. She's open on the three, um, you know, shooting or the next action. Um, she'll respond in the right way, and, you know, her missing those three, free throws is uncharacteristic for her, so it was just a... You know, wasn't at her best today, but we know that she'll bounce back. Appreciate your time and insight. Stay trapped. Russell. Thanks. Yeah, just a question for Sabrina. Going off of what uh, what Jeff just asked there, Sabrina, you um, have built such a strong uh, chemistry with John Quell this year. Uh, it's really been a great storyline for this team. When, when there's a game where she's not scoring, I'm wondering how you – kind of balance of uh, trying to get her involved, you know, as, as a guard versus, you know, forcing it and trying to look for something that maybe isn't there. Yeah. I mean, that's the tough part, um, you know, is from kind of that lead guard position is just trying to get everyone their looks and, um, you know, obviously B was shooting the ball and attacking really well. And so that was kind of a primary focus. Um, but I think understanding like every game is not going to be the same. Um, and they were obviously, taking away JJ clogging up her roles and making it really difficult and shooters were open. So I think it's just understanding what the defense is giving us and not trying to turn the ball over, looking for something um, too hard, but understanding we just got to continue to find different ways to try and get her open because she's obviously really capable of dominating the paint, but also spacing the floor. Thank you. We'll finish with Andrew. Sandy, you guys have had, really strong first quarters this season, especially against this team. Um, I guess, were, were you a little surprised at how that went today? And what were what were some of the, I guess, areas where, where you were most frustrated about in the first quarter that that kind of set the tone? Yeah, look, I didn't, I didn't think we came out with the necessary urgency um, to compete. Um, like, I've watched a lot of film on this team, and it's a team that's gotten better and better with every games they've played. 
but they're six and four in that last 10 going into that game. And, um, you know, Trans D, we just, you know, a little bit, of, a little bit, just not lack of urgency. And, you know, we turned it around quickly. I thought our second quarter was great. Our third quarter was great. Uh, but, you know, we made some, you know, we saw a lot of shots. We made some, you know, had some um, turnovers with like back. Uh, they executed better than us down the stretch. Um, so we got to, you know, it's a, uh, anyone can beat anyone in this league. And that uh, says a lot. We have to make sure we bring the, the same focus for every opponent.